right. So hello, my name is David Cowan, and I'm the creative arts pastor here at The Crossing. And oftentimes I'm, I'm asked, especially outside of The Crossing, like, what does a creative arts pastor do? And I just tell them, well, I just finger paint in my office, you know, and then I maybe sculpt something. And, and then, of course, when they realize that I'm totally joking with them, I'll explain what I really do. And really, it's, it's all evidence behind you, everything you see on the stage. Uh, I work with an amazing group of people week after week to make sure our weekends are awesome. And so I just want to take a minute, or seven to be exact, and talk with you about why weekends matter. You know, a long time ago, I had a a mentor who wrote a book on preaching and teaching, and he called it 30 Minutes to Raise the Dead. And I thought, well, that's pretty apropos. It's pretty, pretty good, for especially for the 830 before people have coffee and things like that. But here's the thing. In our context, it's really more like 60 minutes because it's more than just the preaching and the teaching here at the crossing. It's all the other elements that we do from the worship to the video to the creative content that we bring each week. But here's the thing, guys. It's still just 60 minutes. 60 minutes is all that we have to reach that family that's broken and to reach that one that's considering ending their life or the single parent that's just trying to survive or the retiree that feels like life has passed them by. 60 minutes, that's all we've got. So what's our plan? What, how do we do this week after week? Well, we have a team that meets together and tackles our creative programming each week. And we've got this amazing creative name for it. You ready for it? It's the creative programming team. Right? <clears throat> amazing. So here's what this team does. We actually meet week every single week and we're planning six weeks out in advance. So to give us context, do you, any of you know what you're doing on July 8th? Yeah, me neither, right? But I can tell you this, that that team was planning what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And why do we do things like that? Well, we found that planning far in advance actually allows us the time to throw in that last-minute brilliant idea. Rarely do we have that moment where we're like, man, I wish we had thought of that. Because week after week after week, we're circling back and thinking through each and every Sunday to make sure that we deliver. And here's why we do this, guys. We want to partner with you. And you might ask, well, how does that partnership work? Well, have you ever been to a church experience somewhere else maybe uh, that you thought was really, really great? And so you invited your friends and family. And when you did, of course, that Sunday that they come, it was like you went to a different church. (laughs) It was like totally weird. You know what I mean? Well, I believe it was Jim Collins who said, the definition of mediocrity is consistent inconsistency. And if that's the case, I want to tell you, we kick against mediocrity here at The Crossing each and every week. You should know exactly what you're inviting your friends and family to. And we work very hard on that. You can have confidence each and every week that when you come, there's going to be a biblical, relevant message for your life, that the worship team is going to be on point and ready and prepared, and there's going to be some creative content that tackles the message at hand. Biblical, relevant, creative, week after week. And here's the partnership. You're never going to see Shane's face on a billboard somewhere saying, come to the crossing. It's not going to happen. You're not going to hear Lee Cote on Air One or SOS saying, come to the crossing. You know why? Because that's not our advertising strategy. You know what it is? It's you. It's you. It's the word of mouth. It's much like the early church when they said, come and meet this Jesus who radically transformed my life. That's what we want. But here's where the partnership comes in. You need to know what you're inviting your friends and family to, right? So, guys, that's why we work so hard with that. That's our strategy. And, guys, so when we do this, we kind of, we do things creatively because we believe God made us unique. So there's nothing wrong with just coming and doing a message and worshiping in song. That would be like most of the church in the world. But we try to do things a little bit different. Uh, Like this, for instance. This is a picture of my friend Ed Chin. And he is putting is a rolling buttermilk on a screen because we were doing a voiceover in the room and we needed to slowly project something as the voiceover is going on. We researched and we found out we could do uh, yogurt or buttermilk. I really wish we'd pick yogurt because buttermilk is great in biscuits. I know very well, but yogurt smells so much better, right? But guys, we do crazy things like this. Because we look to Jesus, who is really the ultimate creative arts pastor. Because if you think about it, while Jesus' contemporaries were all talking about all the things, that, the 10 things that you need to know about God, Jesus would take that same truth, wrap it up in a story, and he changed the world. 
So here, guys, when it comes to creative, we want to be creative, but we don't want gimmicks. We, we don't want to do things just because they're cool. That's not us. And we certainly don't bring in celebrities to try to attract people because we believe there's only room for one celebrity in the church, and his name is Scott Whaley. Wait, wait. I got that wrong. It's Jesus. That's right. And with that, guys, we want to make sure that people are inspired because inspiration is what lifts us up. Inspiration shifts our thoughts from the common to the uncommon. Inspiration stirs the soul. In fact, inspiration means to breathe. It's what separates us from the dead. Only the living breathe. And it is our goal each and every week to literally breathe life into people. That's what we're here to do. So, guys, every time, each week, we, we tend to do this. We try to do these things. We do it with advanced planning, and we, we tend to do a lot of stories. You might notice we do baptism stories. Many of you have probably done a baptism story. And we try to give these stories of life change. And we do that because we lean into what Revelation 12 says. I love this verse. It says that they overcame the evil one by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. You know what that means? It means Jesus did his part on the cross. We do our part of kicking the darkness until it bleeds daylight by telling our stories. And each and every week when we do this, guys, when we do the creative arts and when the weekend experience happens, and you know you can invite your friends and family, it all has eternal significance. And for those of us who serve and make sure that kids get checked in and that coffee is delivered on time, it's all with great significance because our hope is that they will have an encounter with Jesus. And when people have an encounter with Jesus, they come to life. Thank you.